Hey guys, Sega Superstar here, and today I'm doing a review on the newly released Nappa from Sculptor Series, uh, also published by Crane King, Ben Prester, and Gemma. Uh, this is from the, uh, what, do I, uh, what do you call it, Tenkai Chi Budokai Zoki 5 series. Uh, I have Goku, and this is my second figure in the series now. I do plan on getting Vegeta and maybe Cell. I have to have a proper look at him yet. But anyway, so today's review is about Nappa. Now, there isn't many figures on Nappa, so it's actually quite a privilege to um, own my very first Nappa figure from Dragon Ball Z series. Um, I actually don't own Nappa figure at all in my collection, so I want a bit of variation, so I thought I'd get him. He looks really awesome from what I see. Uh, so first of all, we'll have a good look on the box. So as you can see on the front, we have a good illustration of Nappa on the front pose, a good close-up of him. And from what you can see here, I'll do a little zoom so you guys can see. What you can see here, he looks really awesome. You've got a great pose going on. You can see how intense he is, all his veins popping out and everything. And you've got obviously the series and the bottom there, sculpting and whatnot. So yeah, I love in the box art already. It looks really cool. You've got all the uh, logos around the top here and everything. So yeah, nothing but awesomeness there. On the side here, you've got a selection of characters in the series, and obviously the ones highlighted is one you have. Uh, you have Raditz, Super Saiyan Goku, Bardock, uh, Vegeta and Cell. So I have the Goku one here, and now I've got him. Like I said, I do plan on getting these two at the top because they look awesome. Okay, on the other side here, you have a more of a close um, up view of the straight pictures of Napa. And, uh, looks really good. Good, good paint jobs there. It's really awesome. Um, on the back is just like a another picture of Napa with a far more further away picture, and then you got um, another sort of a little teaser there of the Raditz figure. He looks pretty cool. I might get him actually nearer the time of the MCM in October. He does look pretty good. Um, on the bottom there, you just got some more information. Nothing too special, really. And for you who are wondering if it is a bootleg or not, you'd be able to tell on the toe sticker at the top. And obviously, make sure you've got the other company's logos and everything on there as well. Make sure everything is the same. And sometimes you get an import export sticker here on the bottom, just to make sure you know. And yeah, so that's it with the box. The box is all finished. So now let's get on with the actual figure review. So when you when you get him out of the box here, you, it comes in three pieces: the lower half, top part, and your stand. So let's get these unpackaged out of the way with. And with these figures, it's just a simple um, putting them together like so. You can see where the markings go and whatnot. So this basically clips into one, like so. We have a push, and then all there is to do is the make sure you get the angles right, and you know where the foothold goes, and then you're pretty much done. So when you've got a box here, this is what he looks like. He looks freaking awesome. Got you stand on now, so I've got him on my turntable, guys, so you can have a nice 360 view of him. You can see all different types of shades here going on to match his skin complexion, his armor, and everything. Fantastic paint job and fantastic sculpture all around, really. 110%. I mean, I really love this figure, eh? it's absolutely amazing. You can see all the battle damage on his armor as well, which I'll take a closer look in a second. Yeah, this is a fantastic piece. You got his towel wrapped around his stomach here, as you can see there, it's quite in depth. Absolutely amazing. You can see when he turn when when he comes around, I can show you some detail on his um the, the damage on his armour, a few scratches, which they've added a few details in. There's one there underneath his arm, you can see it scratched there, a few cracks on his chest there, and a little sort of a bash there on the left hand side, and maybe in the middle bit there. Yeah, this is this is an amazing figure guys. This you can see every every single detail of Nappa. Um, it's really an honour to sort of own this figurine really since his I don't I don't I don't own a Nappa in my Dragon Ball Z collection but now I do so I'm very happy with that. As you can see here coming as he comes across here, you can see all the intensity in his face, his arms, how he, where he's powering up and ready to charge. 
I'm assuming that Piccolo or Krillin, I'm assuming, it could be any of the Z-Fires, and they beat the crap out of them nearly. But yeah, this is an intense piece. Um, this is a really good figure line. I mean, this is an absolute awesome figure line. Definitely worth buying. Dirt cheap and excellent quality, just like the Master Styles piece. So yeah, I mean, the base is quite basic. You haven't got much going on here, really. the black base with the logo underneath it. See there, you've got the bends and creases in Nappa's shoe where he's uh, ready to pounce. You can see um, the muscle tones and everything, and it's just absolutely stunning. When he comes around again, we'll have a little more close look of his face. You can see a DR and everything, see how well he is, uh, how, how much likeness he is to the anime. So, yeah, I can't fault this, there's no bad paint jobs, the, the sculpture's great, the paint job's fantastic, so yeah. Definitely awesome piece, I 100% recommend this. So right, let's stop it right about there, and we can do a bit more detail. So as you can see, they've done a great job on his moustache, well what's left of there, you can see he's got, you can see his tongue and teeth are done, ex you know, just so perfectly, got, his eyes are perfect, he's got his ears, the sky looks absolutely awesome on here. Just do a little bit to the right here, you can see how much detail they put in the scouter. Absolutely fantastic piece. Definitely worth every penny. And I'm, I'm really glad I've got him, really. He, he actually looks a lot better than what I thought it would be. And yeah, fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Even his palms have got so much detail. His fist there, you can see the veins in his fist. His knuckles there, his bones and everything. It's just an intense piece. It's just so freaking awesome. Every single T I was there. He stands about 20 something centimeters tall, so that would be about. Um, well, I'll tell you what, guys, let me just get my Goku and compare him. One second, it won't be too long. So comparing him to Goku, um, if I take my turntable away, be able to see the difference in height and uh, statue-wise. So yeah, here is the Goku here, and as you can see, Goku is definitely a lot bigger than Nappa. But a lot being funny, Nappa is crouching, and I wouldn't definitely wouldn't put that past there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't fault that or about the size. It's still an, an elite, well detailed figurine and I'm absolutely happy with it, it is fantastic. So these are my first two pieces in the series and I, I just, guys, I just absolutely recommend them, they're fantastic. So yep, yeah, that's it for the review guys, um, hope you enjoyed this review and learned a few things about this character. The details and what you get with him and everything, he is absolutely stunning, as well as as is Goku, he's absolutely amazing as well. He's probably my most favourite at the moment. So, yep, guys, that's it for the review. Please let me know what you think of these figurines in the comments down below. And please give me a thumbs up if you like the review and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all the support and feedback. And I'll do the same to you straight away. I normally do uh, subscribe, always check in my subscriber feeds and everything. I always subscribe to people who have subscribed to me just to be polite and uh, support their channels. So yeah, that's it guys, thanks for watching, take care and see you soon for more news and reviews.